Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this is not your reading, you can get a person reading, and that information is going to be down below. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands waiting, 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 and waiting, waiting, and watching, waiting for your ships to come in. You could have picked a direction, put in your energy, put in the work, invested your emotions, effort, etc., and now you're waiting for something to come to fruition, okay? However, right now I see that there's a lot of emotional manipulation. Could be you, could be them, but someone's very closed off, okay? This could be jealousy, okay? Someone could be jealous or this could just be someone, you know, who's um, not wanting to be vulnerable, all right? This person's very closed off and they're not wanting to be vulnerable, okay? Okay, there was a painful ending between you guys. This is what is challenging or influencing the situation, okay? So because there was someone feels backstabbed and betrayed, all right? There was a painful ending between you guys and someone just feels, someone's super, super hurt, okay? The Ten of Swords, all right? That is painful as fuck, all right? And now they're not wanting to be vulnerable anymore. Get two things. Either this person is hurt within the relationship or this person has been hurt in the past. And now they're not wanting to be vulnerable with you, okay? On your mind, you want to open up. If you have been in a state of shutdown, you want to open up or you've released something. You've detached from something that you have been holding on to very, very tight. Okay, so you've gone through a breakup. There's been a breakup and a separation and someone has landed feeling very, very backed up and betrayed. Your biggest challenge out here or the inspiration is, your, is to heal. Okay, to get over it. It's like let go, surrender, accept it and move on. Learn your lessons, forgive. Okay, you're not healing right now. That's why you're not being able to open up. So in the past, I feel there was someone who was feeling very stuck. Okay, stuck in a situation, feeling very stuck, tied and bound to, okay? Almost like they can't just do anything about it. No matter what they want to, they can't. It was like uh, like, like a self-imprisonment, okay? But this is someone who was doing this to themselves, okay? Creating thoughts and scenarios in their head, which were, which had nothing to do with reality, is what I'm getting, okay? Someone was in their own way in the past. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and now we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? So there is emotional manipulation. You could be dealing with a player, okay? Because the Knight of Cups in reverse is also someone who could be in and out of your life, okay? This could be someone who was just offering you scraps or leftovers, okay? And you probably felt very backstabbed and betrayed because you had a very strong connection with this person, okay? Could be someone who went from commitment to not commitment, okay? Anything. And now you've released this person. Because now you cannot see eye to eye with this person. You feel very hurt by what this person has done. Someone's played games here is what I'm getting, okay? Someone's been very manipulative and they've played games. And in the near future, I see that you're going to get even more bitter towards this person, okay? We have someone who's emotionally closed off. Now, there is a difference in energy here. We're dealing with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, okay? You're dealing with the Knight. If you're the Queen of Cups here, okay, you've expected a lot of emotional mature love you've been giving and giving and giving into this relationship you love this person this person loves you too all right because we have the two of cups the two of cups is a mutual energy it's mutual love okay but maybe this person is just not being to offer you what you want or they're not offering you enough okay and this could be a kind of a manipulation, okay? Where they're not opening up. They just cannot open up as much as you do because the Queen of Cups is a giver. She's compassionate. She's very open, okay? She's very vulnerable, okay? And she's not afraid to do so. Very nurturing energy. They, on the other hand, are someone who's just not like that. So they started off being like that and you could have been holding on to this person very tight but now you're letting it go because you're, end of the day, you're feeling like a victim. You're feeling very hurt and betrayed, Okay? And now you're the one who's being shut up. You're being cold towards this person. You're not being as emotional. I get you're not giving the situation an emotional approach anymore. So it's like the moment you do this, right? They're freaking the shit out. Okay, someone's throwing like a shit fit. They're losing their patience, okay? You could be dealing with someone who's going back shit crazy. This person's not ready to cooperate, not ready to compromise, just not ready to, you know, like, 
be with you on the same page, okay? Because they're losing their patience, okay? There is something that needs time, but they're not ready to give it time. And probably because you cut this person off, okay? You're shut off emotionally and they cannot handle it. Well, I get that, you know, because when you keep giving your energies to someone, when you keep giving your emotions, your feelings, energetically, when you're so devoted to someone and all of a sudden you pull back, that's when they realize that something's wrong, okay? That's when they realize, oh, like, I should have opened up long time ago, okay? Now they realize the Queen of Cups energy that you've withdrawn from them emotionally, okay? You're being cold, very icy, and um, you're very bitter from inside is what I get because you're pretty hurt. And now they're, they're not being able to handle that. This is someone who just doesn't know how to handle this situation at all. You, on the other hand, all you want is compromise, cooperation, you want teamwork, you want to build with this person, okay? That's what's on your mind. It could also be the other way around that you're lacking your patience and you gave up because you just couldn't wait for this person to come in correctly to you, okay? And now this person probably on the other hand wants to work with you. They want teamwork, they want collaboration. They want to work into this, put in their energy efforts, all right? So what I'm getting is the person who's losing their patience, right? At the same time, they want to rush in. Now they're thinking very impulsive, okay? Now they're thinking of now, 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 now. I cannot wait, okay? Now they cannot wait. I think they cannot wait after you cut them off. I think they realize how badly they've hurt you or they realize what they've done, whatever they've done, okay? Emotional manipulation, uh, rejecting you or not giving you the offer that you wanted or not giving you the love offer, not giving you the commitment that you deserve, okay? They realize that. They realize that. And there's one person here who now wants to work on this, okay? They want to make things correct. They're ready to build with you. I feel there's going to be someone here, whoever's ghosted, right? There's one person here who's had like a realization. They're coming out of isolation and this person is going to return to you. Someone's going to return back. Someone's going to return back and I think they're going to come towards you and they're going to give you an offer. More than an offer, they're going to be ready to talk to you, okay? It's going to be like a very mature conversation, okay? And I feel there's one person who's going to come and ready to talk. They want to come and reach to a point of compromise. This person wants a compromise and they want to be on the same page with you, okay? That's what I'm getting. But if you, my friend, you're losing your patience, that's just what you're showing them. You're not ready to compromise with them or cooperate with them. You're emotionally shut off, but at the same time, you're dying to talk to them. You got that fool, you got this person fool, but not me. You definitely are rushing in. In your emotions, you want to, but you're just giving them the cold shoulder right now and because of whatever's happened. But this person's coming back and I feel this person's coming back because they want to work on this relationship with you, okay? It's up to you if you want to do this or not. Okay? It's all about the waiting game. It's the waiting game, okay? You're going to have to wait a little before your ships come in is what I'm saying. But it definitely works. You shutting your emotions, what?